Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you guys about something that I absolutely love uh, and it's fasting. Uh, fasting, it talks about Matthew chapter 6 and it talks about um, when you fast and then it kind of goes on into the kind of what your, your heart, your mindset should be um, within fasting. But um, it says when you fast, and I think that's interesting, is, is how it implies that it's going to be a part of our lives as believers. And so, you know, if this is something that we should be doing regularly, um, we should probably know how to do it. What's what's the purpose behind it? The why, the when, um, what is it? And so I wanna explain that to you guys all in a short period of time. <laughs> uh, what is fasting? It's a way of denying yourself. You know, Jesus says, pick up your cross, deny yourself and follow me. Um, fasting is the best way to grow in this. Uh, Cause you're, you know, your body says, hey, I'm hungry. And you're saying, nope, I'm not gonna listen to, to my body. What, instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, spend this time to, to deny that and then I'm going to seek God. And so, you know, your body, your flesh um, is saying, I want this thing, but instead you're choosing to say, nope, we're wanting God instead, which is great because it sets you up for the rest of your future to in moments of that desire of wanting to choose something that, that your body is intensely desiring that isn't actually going to bring benefit to you later on. Um, it's going to help you to choose what God wants you to do later on, which is super awesome. Um, the other thing that, that fasting does is it, it replaces um, worldly and earthly perspective with God's perspective. And so in areas of your life where it's hard to see the things the way that God sees them, maybe for example, like, oh man, there's always this one person that it's like, it's hard to see uh, them through God's eyes and like to be able to love on this person or like, I want to be bitter towards this person because of this reason, whatever whatever it is, uh, it helps get rid of that way of thinking and, and enables you to see the way that God sees, to be able to see the fact that God wants to, to restore them uh, in relationship with him and to be able to instead love on that person and which brings you peace because now you're not all worried about running into them, but now you can actually be excited when you run into people like that. Um, which is crazy that like God can totally change that in us, but he does and it's super awesome. And so uh, fasting, again, it doesn't have to just be food. It can be other things. It could be social media, uh, entertainment, um, basically anything that you know yourself desires. Um, again, I personally think food is the best way to go. Uh, you know, don't, doesn't have to be super heavy to start out. It could be one meal a day. It could be um, just going a whole day, sun up to sundown, whatever it may be. But just having the heart behind it of like, man, like I can do this because I know that I'm going to be gaining godly perspective through this because God rewards those who earnestly seek him. And so by knowing that going into these fasts that God's going to give us uh, perspective in, in areas. And so, you know, if you have, you notice there's an area where, hey, I need to grow in godly perspective with this. God, I'm going to fast and pray and I want you to be able to help me to see things differently. He's totally going to do it. I, I challenge you to do this. Do it and and actually, you know, take time instead of, you know, the time that you'd spend on eating, go and actually spend time with God. That's the whole point of fasting. It's not just fasting, it's fasting and prayer. And so to, to take time and make sure that you are feeding your spirit and you're not just replacing it with other things. Because if instead of just like, oh, instead of eating, I'm just going to watch videos of cats or something like that, um, this <laughs> is just not going to bring benefit to you uh, in the long run. And so that's kind of the the quick synopsis of fasting. There's tons more that I could share and explain with you guys. If you have any other questions, um, please feel free to to message me or anything like that. I'd love to to help you guys out or share stories. I don't whatever you guys want. Um, so have a great day, and I hope this helps. And let's fast and seek the Lord together because it's exciting. All right, have a great day.